This episode is brought to you by Workbox, getting ready to make a difference. Hinda, very many ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, Len is here. Len Muleka, how are you, sir? I'm alive. I'm good. I'm kicking. I'm, yeah, I'm chilling, man. Ghost Lady is here. How are you, Ghost Lady? I am great, Mac G. How are you guys? I'm tired, man. From what? What's what guy? It was uh, it was my girl's birthday yesterday, so I've been eating cake like Casper in your vest all night. <laughs> what kind? <laughs> I was eating cake, Munda. When last did you do that, like Ika? This morning. Siraz. Mm. Yeah. I was it your bought... was it your woman's birthday as well, or you unprovoked? No, no, no. We were celebrating. <laughs> Your woman's birthday. So you decided to eat your woman's cake to celebrate my woman's birthday. Okay, wait. <laughs> what are we talking about? We bought cake yesterday. I'm lost. For her birthday. Because I, okay, I don't eat I'm, cakes. I'm... <laughs> have you seen have you seen Let the video of, of, of Casper eating cake? Oh, no. there's a whole video. Oh, okay. Watch that video. Then what I'm saying will make sense. I can tell you haven't seen the video. Some of us don't live on social media like you do, bro. Hey, how you guys been, man? What's been happening? Nothing. What's the latest Same with the... That happened last... What's the latest with the cigarette war, bro? What cigarette war? The cigarettes were banned and... If you're not allowed to buy them, people are going to court over that. But the president is sticking to his guns that no cigarettes are going to be sold. But I thought Kosoza uh, and Lamini Zuma had to respond today, or else they they're going to take her to, to court or something like that. But why is she responding? Because it's a message. You know, every family has a spokesperson. I get the family makes a decision, and the spokesperson communicates the message. Okay, let me. She didn't just to... wake. She didn't just wake up one day and decided like, no, cigarettes are not going to be sold. It, it was, there was a panel that decided and then she was just the bearer of the message. Um, British American Tobacco Association gives Lamini Zuma until Monday to lift the tobacco sales ban. But the president came out and spoke today. Oh, he spoke or he brought out a statement saying that he, he remains resolute about the ban. Okay, what is the ban all about, though? What does uh, cigarettes have to do with the corona? Because cigarettes uh, cause, what do you call it? Respiratory diseases, and, if I can put it Yeah, and lung disease, and, yeah. And corona is a respiratory disease, or oh, virus. So it's like, think of it this way. Hmm. A proper example is not coming into my head right now, but you're just basically making yourself culpable, not culpable, you're making yourself an easy victim to fall to the virus kind of thing. And so if you get it, you, you're more likely to get sick if you're a smoker. You're more likely to get sicker. But are we the only country who banned cigarettes or is this like a nation, a worldwide ban? I think it's each country does what they do separately. So how many countries have banned cigarettes so far? I don't know. I don't have that information. Actually, in yeah. That's a good question. Because it seems like we're the only one but who can't drink or smoke. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really. Not rem- really. I think there's a couple no, of... No, remember, remember Ghost Lady, when we're chatting to... Oh, sorry to cut you off, Lynn. I was saying, remember Ghost Lady when we were chatting to our international subscribers? They were like, subscribers, hey, they, yeah. yeah, they were like, they can buy alcohol, they can buy smokes, nothing is banned. 
In fact, a lot of them. everyone we spoke to would always say, no, they can, you can still buy anything and everything. It's just obviously be careful, you know, like follow the our social, precautions, whatever that our, is. Our socioeconomic problems are not the same as those in America. America sells yeah. alcohol at a, at a garage. We don't sell alcohol at a garage. It sounds personal mm. between the powers that be, between Stellenbosch and, 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 and the government. There's some power struggle happening right now, I think. Not really. I think it's... But didn't it's, they it's, give it's millions, though? Those billions that from the beginning? Yes, and now they're losing millions for, 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 for cigarettes not being sold. Mm. No, man, it's a health thing. It's a health it's thing. It's a health thing, though. I think people I, should be understanding. The, there's no conspiracy to it. People are just, it's a health thing. There's no need for conspiracy theories, to be honest. Hey, Pella, and what I've heard today... Len is always team Stellenbosch. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, the association that you guys were talking about, the Tobacco Association, I heard them actually that they made a statement saying that, you know what, they welcome what the president has, um, the ban, basically. So I think they are lost statement now is that they are they, they, they will respect it uh, did you see uh, gareth cliff's uh, voice note to the president or did you hear it it was a letter that ended up it was a letter that ended up as a voice note or a recording for thingy what do you call it for cliff was it for cliff central or was it just a voice note that just went viral yes i heard both and i read the letter and uh, what did you think of it a um, couple of things. One, he was making a point, but he used examples that he can't resonate with. Uh, what I took from it is he was trying to outline, he was trying to highlight. Oh, that, just brief, just brief, Ghost Lady, what was in the letter? Because I don't, I'm not, I don't think she's familiar with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you brief, brief him on... Uh, ah, brief him quickly, Chief. Sum it up. Uh, Speed Gareth, up the voice. Gareth Cliff, was, <laughs> Gareth Cliff was complaining about government and how they came and banned cigarettes, or upheld the ban on cigarettes and how it's so unfair and people will revolt and poor people and rich people and but yeah so he was he was sounding like what typically a lot of people are saying what the privileged uh upper class are complaining about on some like yo you said we can smoke now we can't smoke and they're losing their shit kind of thing mm, that's mm. what's written on the letter however i think there were there were subtle subtle messages that you had to derive out of what he was saying um, what I picked up from it upon reading it is that he was trying to highlight, in as much as he was highlighting the whole ban of cigarettes being upheld, even though it was like, yo, we're going to uplift the ban. He was highlighting like, ah, government promised something that they didn't deliver on again. Uh, ANC, typical ANC. Before elections, they will mm -hmm. promise you jobs. What, 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 what. After elections, ah, ish, no jobs type of thing. So it's, 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 it's in the tone. Uh, if, you read, if you read the letter for just for what it is. But then what you'll be the pretty other, much How do you mean? No, I'm saying cigarettes, jobs are, are not equal. So. No. Ish. It's, how can I put it? Ish, I've become dumb during this lockdown. Man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 I understand you. I feel you, Len. Don't worry. It's he okay. was not, in, in as much as he was being literal, he was like superimposing something as simple as rescinding on uplifting the ban on cigarettes mm. as a disappointment. Like but you did, you think, did, did you think he had a valid point, though? Or was it just all rubbish he he does he have a valid point look any old person who has privileges be it you are Gareth Cliff and you are white and you live in Centurion at a golf estate or you are learning you live in mid-rent at a sectional residential area 
oh, and you are black or you are Mac and you live in. <laughs> Don't Denver. even put that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no intentions of coming to Dayton. Uh, but it's, 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 it's the privileges that it's like, okay, cool. You've taken away my liberties and my freedoms, but leave me alone with my cigarette. Uh, leave me alone with my, with my alcohol type of thing. So it's frustration will build up eventually. And you know what I, you know what I have against that letter is that he's bringing up prior um, frustrations that he's had with the government and bringing it to the situation now. And if you look at it, the way that as Cyril, I'm waiting to hear what you are saying, but I can't hear anything. Oh, you can't hear me like this. I can hear you loud and clear. Why can't you hear me? I don't know. I just, I last heard you at what you think he's bringing prior. That's the last thing I heard. But yeah. he never, I didn't hear that what followed. Yeah. So what I'm saying is he's talking about things that they did back then that they fucked up with and bringing it to this situation. But if you look solely on how they've handled the situation, they've done pretty well compared to uh, uh, Ghost Lady's Team Donald. I mean, if you check what's happening in the U.S., it's crazy. <laughs> you know, so for me, I hence, think like they've handled it really, really well. They've done the best they can. Hence, I'm saying, look, one, you look for a way to strike up conversation, right? He did. And if you look at what he brought from back then to here, it's just like, yo, if there's anything that's consistent about the ANC government is that they will promise something and then not deliver on it. That's mm. all he was trying to say. I think that's all he was trying to say. Yeah, but who the fuck cares what Earth Cliff thinks, man? Who cares? As if the president wakes up and says, hey, let me hear what Gareth Cliff thinks today. <laughs> no, we all, have, we all have shit to say. We all have an opinion. And he just raised his. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't understand why people are up in arms. If you are up in arms about what he says or what he outlined, maybe he needs views take the, that, uh, on that station of his. Perhaps that's the case. But again, I, it, it, it also goes to show, and for somebody who's read Gareth Cliff's book after I finished it and I gave it to you, like, we just went to prove Hore, there are sometimes people who just argue and fight for the sake of fighting. Yeah. If any, anything that is brought forth, ah. you look at it and, and then you, 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 you counter it based on the points that are put down. So if I had the time, uh, I would take that letter and then take it point by point or paragraph by paragraph and then rebut on whatever it is that he says. That's having a meaningful conversation as opposed to like, yeah, you are racist, you are what, what, you are in, 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 in. Like, can we, have an, can we have a discussion? You raise your points, I raise my points. And if you want to take it forward, we can take it forward. Who the and fuck cares what Gareth thinks, man? That's what I'm going to say. Some people do. Who? Hey, Chief, there are people who do. <laughs> Uh, raise your hands if you do. Ghost lady, raise your hand if you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my, my hands are still down. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, have you guys seen, remember we've always been saying on the channel, né, how um, uh, everything is going to go digital, the fourth industrial revolution is coming. And what I noticed yep. with this COVID-19 COVID is that maybe we were like four years away from that happening, but it has speeded things up so much that like right now, if you're not thinking digital, you're probably screwed, depending on yeah. what field you're in. So I saw a lot of things that people are doing like overseas. Like, like I saw there's a couple that got married on Zoom. That's like a big thing now. People are getting married on Zoom. Yeah. You just have some cutouts of like your, your family and friends. Just stage girl. Until somebody comes and uh, infiltrates your channel and then like spreads porn all over it. Oh yeah, I saw that. That was funny. <laughs> oh. uh, like if you if you share your 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 invite on Zoom, like on social media, people hack it and then they post like porn oh, or play a prank. Shit. If you watch the DJ Sabi interview I did, we were on Zoom. And he posted the link up on his social media. So some guys hacked it and they were just talking shit. They came on the Zoom during the interview and just spoke shit. Uh, so a lot of people do that. Also, what I saw, hey, Lakika, oh. I, saw, um, I saw an article on Sky News, what they're trying to do with um, 
EPL, né? Foi to finish. Cut out of fans on the stands. Hey? Cut out of fans on the stands. Yes, CGI. Did you see that? And then also using sound effects to give the crowd type vibe experience of a filled stadium with fans and shit. Wow. So what, that, so what that means, Ghost Lady, in English? <laughs> <laughs> I, I understood it, Shem, but yeah, yeah. So imagine like you, you, you can, um, so it'll be like the, 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 the soccer players will play behind the scenes and then where the fans used to sit on the stands, it'll be like virtual fans. So you could be sitting at mm. home, but you're in the stand watching the game, which is kind of futuristic because it then takes from selling tickets to 100,000 people that the stadium takes, you can now sell to a billion people that watch the EPL. Ah. And you know, they could actually start uh, selling um, tickets. No. Nah, I, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not for that idea. Uh, it's, it's, it's impractical. Some things just need a human touch. Uh, the, the, your emotions. So even if it's virtual, I get that. But emotions of what happens during a game are triggered by literally what happens during a game. So but think about if, it, think about it, Len. We've been trying to go to Al Trafford and the Emirates for the longest time. With this thing, we can now do it with just a fucking click of a button. And then we are there. Are we know there. Trafford, Chief. No, the atmosphere is not the same. You are there, but there isn't the old guy who's screaming and like, did you fucking see that, mate? No, you don't have that. There are some things that need the human feel to it. But is it let's such not, a bad alternative? Not, is it a bad alternative? Just postpone soccer until such time that you can do it. No, regardless of so postponing. Is that, so, so, for example, we can't afford to go to Old Trafford, right? Nah, if there was an alternative, would you not do it? I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Ah, I think it's dope, bro. I think, I it's, think it's a good idea. Yeah, it's revolutionary, man. Imagine going to Old Trafford, but you're stuck in your house and you can still go to Old Trafford. That's incredible. Right? right. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Now we can hear you. Yes. yes. Go on the Man United website. They probably have a virtual tour. What you also don't understand is players also feed off the energy of the fans in situations. So how are you going to be able to balance that out in terms of Man United is playing against Liverpool when are the Liverpool fans going to be louder than the Man United fans? Are you going to balance it out? How are you going to... It's, there are so many aspects to it. We, it, I it hear you. Len, I hear you. But we're now in a new world. What is the way forward then? Say, say for example, COVID-19 is here to stay for 10 years. Are you telling me there mustn't be any soccer for 10 years just because it doesn't have that real uh, feeling or experience? No, go invest in a... In a, in a what do you, the soccer in a, players in need to also think forward now. They need to be imaginary. It's not up to them. It's up to look. It's not a. It's 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 not. It's not. It's trust me. It's not. It's so. It's not. And mm. also in doing that, who who okay who benefits? And really? sectionally, how many how, how many other countries can do that? South Africa can't be able to do that. But Lynn, it's, remember, it's, it's, I, I, I remember there were some matches that were being played like privately right so obviously there were no spectators there so how did they cope then the match those players so the match plays and you just play and then you hear people like yeah like can literally hear no, no, no i'm just music. saying i'm saying for the players for the players remember before before um the lock down started happening because of this whole cases of the COVID 19 so already some matches were now played privately without any spectators so that has, so that has been happening for the longest yeah so that has been happening for the longest time because if uh fans act unruly i mean even it happened here in south africa as well i think pirates played behind closed doors at one point Chiefs also did the same thing mm -hmm. um a whole host mm -hmm. of eastern european teams from your ukraine your russias have played behind closed doors because of fans mm -hmm. uh acting of so it's as a one-off, it's okay. But we're talking about like 10, 5, 20 games that are remaining. Like you, you, MacGyver, would know that there is nothing as intimidating for an opponent as being a goalkeeper 
or a defensive line in front of the cop. Okay, let's At take NCU. it to let, let's let's take it to, to musicians, right? I don't know if you guys saw, but AK is um he's he's launching a new app. It's called AK TV. So what you can do is you can log on the app and you can check out his live performances of some of the songs that he's done, some unreleased footage and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Okay. So based on what you're saying, Lynn, you'd rather not have concerts or festivals at all, or would you rather have an app like AK TV where you can see him perform? It's not the same as a festival. It's not the same as going to uh, Coachella or whatever it is, but it's, it's an alternative. Yeah, it's an alternative. Those lockdown mixes are an alternative. I do not dispute that. But what are you... I mean, what is this? Uh, Paul Van, I don't know, well, you should know Paul Van Dyke as a DJ. Uh, he was playing at the Signal Dune Park yesterday. Uh, he, it was just him. Like what Andrea Bertrelli did when he was performing to the world. It was just him. Why do you need to have cutouts of people or CGI of people there just so you can... You don't need that if, if you have to play behind closed doors, you have to play behind closed doors. No, but once you have... When you have those CGI That's people... That. When you, you have, have the CGI perform, people, it's okay. trying to... It's trying to reenact the, the experience that you're saying that the digital space lacks. So, for example, if I'm oh, an NBA fan, eh? for, for, for the consumer... Who does, for the I, players, even. For, yeah, if I'm an AKA play- fan and I go into that app and I see other AKA fans around me, it creates some sort of an experience as opposed to me just chilling at home, watching him chilling at home performing. Ah, I just think it's that's overreaching. You know, have you have you, have you ever watched the movie I Robot? Yes. yes. Essentially, what you're saying is like that's what we need to be at, basically. Yes, I'm just saying. No. I'm just it saying. Turned out at the, it turned out at the end, but obviously it's a movie. But it turned out at the end that nothing beats the human touch. Uh, nothing will like, ever. We 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 we. we, we all agree on that. But as we know how the world transforms, it will be a case of actually we don't need fans at the stadium. Let's just do a virtual what what. No, it's no. And also you're cutting out people who don't have access. Like you can you, you, like what about uh Pete in Pampirstadt who can't afford to do virtual PSL? You're thinking about the EPL, sharp, cool. That's that's LSM seven to ten or LSM 6 to 10. What about people who watch PSL and they spend 40 rands to go to the stadium? What about them? How are they going to be catered to? Then there might be a package for them. Pack, uh, Pampir start light or something for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, just there's, saying. There's, there's radio. There's radio. Yeah, I'm just saying, this could be a new reality, Doc. The world as we know it is changing right in front of our eyes. And it's amazing what people are coming up with. I mean, I saw on Tira's WhatsApp, he was saying they're planning a gig where it'll be in all provinces, ne? but it's a drive through They're planning a gig where? So it's basically like, you know what you're saying? Andre Bocelli was performing to himself and whatever, or Paul Van Dyke. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be a stream of a gig, all these DJs and whatever from their houses streaming. But it's at a drive through So the screen is at a drive through and you can all drive there. But you stay in, in your car and watch the concert. But I can do that at home. Yeah, but then if you want an experience like you're saying. The people experience. Yes, then you go to a drive through because there's other people there watching the so same. Something sim- so something similar happened in, I think it was Sweden or one of the Scandinavian countries. Uh, a drive through concert where people came, sat in their cars and listened to the concert. It's all good and well. Ne? Do, you see, do you see people here behaving? One guy in a three, 325. <laughs> Why are you always negative? Do donuts. First it was the guy from Pristat. <laughs> now people are misbehaving. <laughs> but am I lying? <laughs> people no, possibilities are endless. Drive, dri- drive through concert. <laughs> One guy in a 365 is going to go in front. Three, 325 with the gushesh. Dude, Asha people have... People have been stealing phones at concerts for the longest time. What are you talking about? Those things are bound to happen. Okay. Then there goes that idea. No more drive through concerts after that. Because we're going to get out of our windows. How, how many cell phones get stolen at Ultra? 
do you see ultra stopping? No, you would know. It's, it, it does not affect ultra. It affects the people outside. It's the security. See, the drive-through thing is uh, people have Same to get it The drive-through will yeah. not affect Ira. <laughs> will, it's, it's the people outside that will get affected. So, but no. they, they'll still come. The, 325, the, the, the 325 is going to do donuts inside the vein <laughs> of the drive-through. That is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, let's not do drive-in concerts because someone is going to do a donut. <laughs> we we just no, but even 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 beyond that, that's just like one obviously a silly a silly a silly uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dump, but yeah. generally as as a people, as South Africans, as a people, as people in general, we we always want to see how far we can stretch or how far we can go beyond the borders. Yeah, but Len, you can't stop doing something just because you're worried what the next person is going to do. That's not where you live life, dog. So, you see, you spoke about COVID, I get it. Yeah, and you're saying, oh, no, we're living in the era of COVID and whatever, and you're trying to bring it down, blah, 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 blah. You saw what Cape Tonians were doing, I get it. Mm. You gave them a finger, they took the whole body. Mm. So now, imagine what's going to happen at a drive through concert. Yeah. Yeah, no, they said people can run. You see people running and what they were doing. But Len, you can't escape that. It's like life. It's like you staying there in Katara. Are you not going to stay there because someone can break in your house? It's not about that. It's about, you see, when you are given, when you are given a certain level of freedom, or, and I'm saying freedom because currently we are not free. For a lack of a better word, we are dumb. And in the <laughs> and in the event that you break that, that that little privilege that you are given, it's going to be taken away. You see, I, 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 I it's, it's. Uh, this is speaking about the drive-through concerts, by the way. It's somebody's going to come and spoil it for everyone, or people are going to go and take chances, and shit can happen. Like now, people are taking chances with this grace period of moving around for seven days. People are checking their girlfriends. People are putting girlfriends in the boot. People are doing this. People are doing that. It's, it's, it's just how we operate as human beings. So if we want to, if we were disciplined enough, maybe drive through concerts could work. But I don't think we are disciplined enough as a people. All right, did as you guys watch the, the, the Tira and Mapurisa uh, battle? The Castellite battle? Y- yes, I saw, I no. saw snippets of it. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw. I saw the whole thing, man. Who do you think won it? Who do you think took it for you, Ghost Lady? Tira. Yeah, me too. Hey, Tira's got Tira, his hands, bro. Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate to say it, but yeah, Tira, man. Like, oh, no, no, no. That was, that was a lovely mix. What was amazing he, he is... Just... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were saying, saying Ghost Lady? No, I'm just saying he took it back and just the build-up was just so beautiful. I, I, he's got this cool mixing i don't know what to call it but yeah i enjoyed it like well, for me it was nice to it was like nostalgic i i forgot how many hits tira has yeah exactly yeah you, it was oh god i just want i wanted to to drive to Devon immediately like yo but in and as much <laughs> as I, in and as mm-hmm. much as i think tira won the battle i think mapurisa won the war because if you check all the songs that Tira played, he was like, I was working with Fisherman. I was working with uh, Tizozo. I was working with whoever. None of those people are relevant today. They're doing nothing. Mm. Whereas, whereas Mapores has put on so many people. You understand? Like Uhuru. Yeah. Shasha, Kabza. Exactly. You know, so Way I think, I th- yeah. think Mapores won the war with that regard. Kabza people will kill you, Chief. Kabza was big even before Mapuris. Don't, don't, don't make that. Yeah, but he took him to the next level. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now we know him. And then, uh, did you guys watch the Saftas? What's that? The Saftas. Mm. Actually, oh, I just the heard Dinewa was the, no. the host. So you, didn't, you guys didn't watch it? No, no. no, I didn't watch it. Okay, let me tell you some of the winners. Uh, Living the Dream with Samizi won Best Structured Reality Show. Do you care? No. Yes, yes. Yeah, I do. I, I like Samizi's reality show. It's one of the best. 
He's so real and I love it. I just, I just don't like reality shows. Period. You love, is it? Yeah, I love some easy one. Well. Yo, it's dope. Uh, oh yeah, then there's that one as well. <laughs> oh no, no man. Okay, the river took home ten awards, uh, including best hey, novella. I've never watched the river. After, after I heard that, I wanted to say maybe I should just give it a try. I need to give um that uh, the river a try. Just watch it. I've never seen a single episode of The River. Is it really that good? I've never either. I just saw... When did I watch it, Lakik? You said the one time you watched with your girlfriend because there was a scene that made her cry and then you guys were there and, 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 and stuff. No, uh, I, was watching, I was watching her cry. <laughs> <laughs> but what made her cry? Yeah, there was a scene from the river. To us. <laughs> so you've seen a scene from the river. So don't so come and lie. So you've seen up. a scene. I don't, I don't know. For me, the river and the queen is the same shit. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. But anyway, let me, let me carry on. And the internet is acting up on me again because I can't hear a word you guys are saying. All right. Uh -oh. Cindy Cindy to one best actress. Uh, Marianne Below won Best Supporting Actress. Bongile Mantai won best, best Actor in Feature Film and Best Actor in a Soapy for his role, Michael City and Scandal, respectively. Loisa McDonald won Best Supporting Actor, Telenovela for his role in The Queen. Who's that, Ghost Lady? Um, it was, you see, remember Dinewo, the one who got fired now from The Queen? That yeah. Who spoke about his. Now he plays the brother. Oh, is, is he good? Yes, of Kia. It's got a gut. Oh, yeah, that's what they used to call him. Ne? Yes, yeah. No, he's not that good. No. He's oh. just normal. I don't know. All right, and then Florence must have a one. acting all macho, you know, trying to be, I don't know. So Isn't, isn't he the guy who's uh, in the sea, in the, in, the, in, the, in the queen, he's dating that Cindy girl, Cindy Tando, or something like that. Baby, Kupa Chaza move. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how many people have been celebrating their birthdays during lockdown. That must be the worst, bro. Yeah, um, shit. Not really. I had a very dope birthday, uh, Tatomo Wang's birthday, huh? about two weekends ago. You love me. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, moving along. Oh, what's juke juke then? <laughs> More cake is gonna be eaten tonight. Guys, reconciled, eh? <laughs> so, um, I had a thingy. What do you call it? A uh, birthday with uh, Tato about two weekends ago. A Zoom so birthday. what we did was each person, yes. So each person had to have like a bry stand meet booze and whatever and we literally were on a on a on a on a zoom call slash video thing from about three o'clock in the afternoon until 10 at night wow just chilling brying and talking as if we would be talking if we were together oh, Jeez, wow. did you guys see zoom that guy since the lockdown has made four four billion the ceo oh uh, yeah because we're all here so Len contributed a uh, hundred thousand that day. <laughs> so I think, I think on the day, um, but also how do you how do you monetize Zoom? Because there's not even any adverts that I see on the screen. No, the CEO. So it's got packages. So the free packages you can record for like forty minutes. Forty and minutes. Yeah, and then there's other packages after that for more features on Zoom. So what I so what I noticed is the the one that we had with the party. Um, I think it was my first meeting that I set up. It was unlimited. Hence, we went on for so long. So we didn't have the whole thing of stop, carry, carry on, stop, carry on, stop, carry on. No. It yeah, was one pay, long... That means you paid for it. No. With what? With your banking details. Where, which I put where? 
I don't know. You tell me how, Muna. You don't know set it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am saying to you the first time, the first meeting call that you make is unlimited. Only oh, after that, oh, I think you get charged. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, was, that was my first call that I made. So it was unlimited. Hence, you was able to speak for so long. Oh, I see. Mm. So, okay. so okay. You, you did the 24-hour podcast before us. <laughs> Basically, without us. Six, <laughs> without us. Six hours. <laughs> You're On doing a trial. With, with legs. <laughs> No, this was a this was an this was an elite party. You guys were not invited. Oh, Ish, Ish. You see, he like disappears and comes back and and just to inform us that I. But unlike Zoom, tonight we are not unlimited. We'll cut you out now. We'll cut you off, Chief. <laughs> cut, boss. <laughs> Forty minutes is shy. <laughs> I've got my I've got my people who can talk to me for six hours. It's okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Just to finish, uh, Rhythm City won Best Soap Award. The Republic scooped the Best TV Drama Prize. Imbewu walked away with the most popular soapy telenovela prize. And in the film mm-hmm. categories, Knuckle City bagged six wins. Knuckle City, you've never heard of that. Mm-hmm. Neither have I. It's so weird. We're so out of touch with local content, but let it be Netflix. Ah, number one. How King, are, you bring, are you bringing in your Netflix feature, Castile? <laughs> yes. yes. And on that note, it is time to Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, cool. What have you been watching on Netflix, Ghost Lady? I have been watching The Colony. The Colony? Do you know that series? Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, you should check it out. What's it about? It's like, it's about literally a lockdown that just went too, too far, you know, and well, obviously features the whole, like it's, it becomes all there's aliens, there's spaceships, and it's just weird. There's a whole arrival that it's like a huge wall that comes and just separates the city. So you get a green zone, a red zone and soldiers and there's curfews and basically you have to just survive. Is this a series or a movie? It's a series. It's a series. Oh, okay. um, season three came out this past, literally when? Saturday. So I'm busy with season three right now. And I, I got into it like sometime during the week last week. Like, so imagine in one day we finished the whole season. The other day we finished the second season. And the, just so that we can catch up with season three that came out this past Saturday. The Colony, ne? Yes, Colony. So it is, it's, it's just so dope. Okay, I'll check it out. As for me, I've got no recommendations this week. I haven't been on Netflix. I've been working. Uh, Lakika, any recommendations? What you watching on Netflix right now? Uh, last thing I watched was... The Last Dance, actually. Uh, yeah, I want to watch uh, that. I want to watch that. I want to watch. Oh. The, the other two episodes are out. So I think five and six are out five now. Five and six are out now, ne? Yes, five and six are out. And then the other thing that I watched, but I only finished the first episode, is kind of what's it? What's it? What's that series about soccer in England? Is it the something Sunderland. about Sunderland? Sunderland. Ah, I'm not Sunderland. I still need to finish. I think I'm still on episode three on that one. Uh, yeah, I clapped it in one in one 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 day, man. Sunderland I rise think- or something. I think it's it's the English game. There we go. Yes, the English game is basically about how soccer was started or how soccer started in England, and it was played between the haves and the have-nots, and just like yeah, the dynamics of how soccer came because you know soccer started as an elitist sport, and then it went virtual to fans. No, they've got real people. <laughs> CGI and cut out. <laughs> you want to stress it's late 18, now. <laughs> is it it's 1873? I think I could be wrong about the date, but I think that's when the whole thing. So like how the FA Cup, so that's where the FA Cup started kind of thing. Yeah. So it's based on a true story. Uh, very decent watch. But otherwise on Netflix as well, I've been watching what? Oh, uh, Explained. I watched the uh, Explained 
episode of uh, COVID-19. COVID. Coronavirus. Again. Mm. Very, no, man. I'm not talking. So there are two different things. There is a pandemic. Pandemic does not speak about COVID-19. It speaks about other pandemics. Your black death, your black flu, rather. Uh, and it just scares you about what could, what could be next. And then next could is... Be next. Hmm. Explained, on the other hand, literally explains COVID and, 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 and. It's... Uh, what do they call it? Uh, viruses that come from animals and are transferred to humans. Zoo something, man. Zoo. So it's, 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 it's viruses actually mutate. So yeah. they come from one animal to another animal, and from doing that, they're able to get into humans. Kind of. Oh. It's very, it's, it's very scientific. Very int- After you watch it, you will think like you're an expert on COVID 19. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just the whole mutation of how viruses evolve. So that just like was a bit of like a whoa, mind blowing. And bad and shit. Yeah. So you know, so yeah, pretty dope. So that's what I've been watching. All right, cool. You know what I On watched, guys? Netflix. Tell us, tell us. And I get I watched Cascadeers. What? Basically Cascadeers. I think my network is the pit. And it's yeah, you need it's to a make family a, that's run a funeral pit. home. Yeah, so I've been trying to say, okay, I've got this whole fear of death, so I like to watch things that just literally talk about death. <laughs> so I was like, yo, it's a family. It's, actually, it's funny. It's a reality show about um, this family that runs a funeral home, and they just talk about how they handle dead bodies and stuff, and just so that families can be happy. When they do a funeral, so shame. Damn, ghost lady, you can't die now. You still need to twerk for us. No, no, I'm not dying. I'm not dying, guys. No, mm. it's just confronting your fears, and you watch. And because you know, I've, I've always been so scared of dead bodies. Like the idea of there's a funeral home, there's mortuaries out there. Like it just it makes me cringe. So I watched it, and it just enlightens you. Of that, there are people out there who actually have to do the work. You know clean bodies and confront this whole things that we're scared of and you're yeah. scared about death bro we're all gonna die man yeah so that's mm, the thing i'm co- trying to confront it and because we're all gonna die and it's fine one day but not now all right uh yeah. before we leave anything else you guys want to <laughs> talk about what do you want to talk about like gigs uh nothing much um, dude, nothing's happening. So yeah. And uh, you, uh, ghost lady. Ah, uh, just happy birthday to everybody in lockdown. <laughs> Who's happy? Must be the piss. <laughs> ah, I can't really. At, at this rate, <laughs> it's just I uh, enjoy shim. Oh yeah, a lot of people ne, um have been DMing me, asking me, you know, questions about how to start a podcast, what equipment do you need, blah blah blah. So. Mm-hmm. I was chatting to Lynn the other day and I was thinking maybe we should do like a webinar uh, end mm. of the month, like a podcast webinar. What do you think, Lakik? A masterclass. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Teach us master. Yeah, to share our knowledge. We've got knowledge in abundance. Eish. <laughs> podcast kings. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how we make man. <laughs> <laughs> What money? <laughs> what money? Because ladies, there's something you want to tell us. <laughs> but yeah, uh, send a drop a WhatsApp and let us know if you'd like us to do the webinar. And then, yeah, if you guys are keen, we'll do it end of the month. But it's only if you guys want us to do it. Uh, also, yes, I've got um, a video coming up. Né? I shot last week with a girl called Lindy where she, she's got, uh, she's on like OnlyFans. Do you guys know what OnlyFans is? No. Yeah, that place that you go to where you can see X-rated things or maybe just a chat, but yeah. So, close lady, it it's basically like YouTube, but for porn stars. Oh, so you, okay. You can upload videos of you playing with yourself or like giving a BJ or like having mm-hmm. sex even. And then people mm-hmm. subscribe to your channel. So, she's got chillers. <laughs> So how many? So how many? How many accounts are you? How many? How many accounts are you subscribed to? None. 
None. I don't need to. 50. But I, I just found it interesting because, um, so, so just, you know, like how YouTube pays you to create content, the same thing happens on OnlyFans. And she started in December and until now she's made over 70,000 rands. Whoa. Yep. Okay. So yeah. we are signing up on OnlyFans, ne? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you guys want that episode, uh, let's, let's get a thousand likes, then I'll put it up or 2000 likes. What do you guys think? Yes, okay, 2,000 likes. Yeah, 2,000 2, likes on this episode, and then I'll drop that. And guess what I spoke to last week as well, like, who? See me. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it was a dope episode, man. So hopefully I'll put that up as well. But yeah, 2,000 likes on this episode, and then I'll drop the OnlyFans with uh, Lindy Ue. And how, how was the interview with Lindy Ue, though? It was dope, man. It was so cool. I think a lot of people enjoyed it because it's like an industry so that, that I didn't does know she about. Tell, does she tell you what she does there? Yeah, she's very open. Oh. She, she talks about oh, what she really? does, how she makes money, uh, some of the things that's cool about OnlyFans, some of the things that's not cool. So some of the celebs that um, subscribed to her channel. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, no, we, we need 2,000 likes for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can give you a free coupon. No, 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 no. Oh, even if she did, you wouldn't tell us, but it's fine. <laughs> anyway, it's getting, it's getting dark there by you, Len, so let's say goodbye. Uh, make sure, yeah, yeah, by the way, Ghost Lady, uh, we've got new members. Who are our members? We have members, and I yes. have them yeah. Yeah, make sure you join and become a member. You can get exclusive content, um, early content, some cool stuff. Like we only fans coupons. Can I give you their names so we can just send a shout out to them? Yeah, please give us their names, our new members. So make sure you There's join Ola and become a, a member. Mm -hmm. There's Ola Nibotelezi. There's Odwam Fazi. Ndando Kunene. Zama Kunene. My name is who? I don't know who is that. And there is K Theodore Masenabo and Ayanda Sikosana. Cool. And you, Lakika? Uh, okay. So, I've got a question. Yeah, whoa. If television, like the news and the what what and the mixes can happen as an essential service, aren't we an essential service? Aren't we, like, on stage four or level four, aren't we allowed to record? Yes, we are. We just need to get a permit. Okay, then do permit and give them to us. Yeah, yeah, let me do payments. Hey. Yay! <laughs> I miss you guys. This guy. Yo. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> honestly, I, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Uh, doing this episode via Zoom is no different to being a virtual soccer fan for uh, Arsenal versus Man United. It's yeah, it's not boring. the same. It's fuck. Yeah, it's, it's not, not the same. same. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> yeah. The energy is not the same. It's, mm. I can't feed off your body language or I can't feed off how stupid you look when you make a certain comment or whatever. So yeah. I would say the permit, the boss, please. Yeah, no, I'm not doing permits because it's only three of us or four by Tabang and we shoot at Ghost Lady's house and then we out. Mm -hmm. Done. You yeah. know? And yeah. we can, and there's social distancing. If we keep you very far from me, yeah. which I would encourage, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Ghost Lady is usually very far from us as well. In and out, yes. we're done. That's it. Yeah, I miss it, dog. Oh. I won't lie. Zoom is not the same, bro. I know. So, like, literally, I've so, been thinking. Yeah, maybe, ah, well, now you just bought it. It's fine. Uh, so, make sure that you um, <laughs> get that sort. Okay. Then, cool. Yeah, we can do this. I so believe because this is, this, this is childish, chief. Okay. Love you guys long time, for man. I, Peace out. For I, for I are my ass. This is childish. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's get the band back together again. It's only because you did it for six hours. You know. <laughs> hey, on your own channel. <laughs> no, I, I, had, I had work meetings today, actually, from about nine o'clock until I think the last meeting ended at about half past four. And all of them were on Zoom. Yeah. And I think the most I chilled between meetings was an hour. Yeah. Mm, so do them okay. I... A few moments later. If you drive within suburbia, from 
where you are, you can get to Madrid, and from Madrid, I can definitely get to Ghost Lady's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, today I went to um, to F and B, and it's it was like Stadium. business as usual. <laughs> no, F and B, the bank. Oh. Yo, oh, I was there fighting. Yes, yes. You F and B as well, Ghost Lady. Oh, they pissed me off. What they, they owe do? me. Pele, if they owe you, they owe us. What did they do? <laughs> no, they debited the Debit money from my account, hey? Like, yeah. so I knew crazy. it. Debit oh, order. yeah. Like, and this is the second one. They did something like snacks like this last, last okay, week. No, I'm, I'm weird. I'm going to switch my video off because you can hardly see me. And then did you guys, any of you reply, um, apply for the COVID-19 relief thing with FNB? No. Hey, gum nandi, ne? No, not that I'm gum nandi. Okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting until they say, okay, we know you're no longer gonna get paid. Then it's like, okay, well, I will apply for it. But for as long as it is, I'm still getting the little. So I'll be like, okay, let me just, because at the end of the day, it'll catch up with me. I still have to pay back, you know. Hmm. So when I, when I, when I did you apply for the three fifty? I the three fifty. <laughs> I'm contemplating. I mean, what am I gonna do three fifty, dog? <laughs> Fucking hell. <up. laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a lot, hey. You can buy you can buy a Vivo G. <laughs> with 350. <laughs> yeah, keep deposit. Keep deposit, you have Vivo. Yeah, I mean what might as well. It's 350 I never had, so yeah, what can you do? Yeah. 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 You can buy you can buy a six pack in the black market. It's a six pack 350 now. <laughs> Somewhere there. You, you. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. That is witchcraft, guys. Ha, ha, yasa, ha. Yasa, yasa I feel sorry for is you, alcoholics, sick? eh? <laughs> oh, when uh, you holy water drinker. <laughs> yeah, alcohol, what is that? <laughs> like, ew, sis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on three weeks. Aren't you proud of me? Three weeks without touching alcohol. I don't know what is that, but I will let you know after I open my Johnny Walker Green label just now. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but I mean, it's not oh. by choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you lack 350. Hmm? <laughs> do, do you know there's, there's a saying that says that uh, fingers are not equal, Chief? Yeah. Uh, so maybe yeah. you're a pinky and I'm the little finger, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, guys. Love you guys a long time, man. Peace out. Take care of yourselves. And yeah. For more information, visit www.workbox.co.za. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.